Verbis, and I'm hanging out at the Chico Chisholm Memorial Studio in Phoenix, live with today's special guest on the studio phone, alligator recording artist Jerika Singleton. Uh, Jerika, we're talking about your debut album on Alligator Records, Refuse to Lose. I've got the title track going in the music bed. Let's talk about what's on the album, including the story behind this song, Refuse to Lose. Well, it's just an autobiographical uh, caption of, you know, the, uh, you know, I wrote this song right after I had surgery on my ankle, um, uh, you know, from being injured playing basketball. And, you know, I wanted to refuse to lose and I wanted to empower myself. So that was a self-empowering moment. And, um, and I wrote that song in hopes of getting it out, and, you know, so people can know that what happened to me, because my grandfather used to say all the time, you know, um, I can listen to a person that's educated, talk about a story, but I want, I want to talk to the person that's experienced in that particular story. And um, so I want to just autobiographically put my experience out there and uh, to, you know, let people know what I went through and let them know, you know, you don't have to stop there. You can go somewhere else and put your all into something else. And, uh, you know, and be just as passionate about something else as you could your first love or whatever it, whatever it was in your life that you were doing. Hello, this is Big Lou. The Blues Foundation presents the Keeping the Blues Alive Awards to people and organizations that have made significant contributions to the blues world. The KBAs are awarded to people who make a difference in the non-performing aspects of the blues. You know, such as literature, videos, artists, and event promotion, and more. There are a lot of stars in the blues world, and the Blues Foundation wants to make sure we all know who they are. Learn more about keeping the blues alive at www.blues.org. Blues America, taking you down to the crossroads. You ready? You ready? You ready? I'm soft hearted, I must admit. I feel sorry just a little bit. But when I think about the pain you've caused, I don't feel sorry at all. And you actually think I'm gonna let you back in So you can do this stupid mess again You got to be kidding me You must be out of your mind To think I'm on deal with them So, Tarikas, I noticed uh, that you like to write your own material and, and, of course, you're a young musician, so I'm wondering if uh, writing your own songs helps you better identify with your generation. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, yeah, I, I like writing my own material. It's, uh, you know, it's just it's just like playing your own guitar, uh, you know, or having your own girlfriend, or you know, whatever. <laughs> and, and what about crime scene? That that sounds uh, like a, the title of a song my wife would sing about. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't write the lyrics for crime scene. I wrote the music for crime scene. And uh, Harrison Sumner wrote the lyrics. Uh, the crime scene and uh, but when he sent that song to me he sent it and when I when I read the lyrics to it I was like oh man this is like something I would have written and uh, that's because uh, you know he got outside of himself to look at how I look at music you know sometimes metaphorically you know and that's why there's a lot of metaphors in that song um but yeah, I like writing my own material because I, you know, started out writing when I was younger. I wrote poetry. And, you know, I just used to do it to kill time at school because I hated school. So Trying to run me crazy. You didn't used to be like this. Tell me what's wrong with you, baby. Agree with 
Tarika Singleton, my special guest today on Blues America, where the current topic of conversation is about songwriting. And on that note, Jerikas, I'm thinking about how the blues typically works with uh, blues standards, which everyone sings. What about you? Do you ever play covers? Uh, no, I, 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 don't know. Um, I haven't covered any tunes as of yet on my album. Uh, and, you know, so many people have done those songs, and it's just, you know, uh, you know even when I hear it, uh, when I hear the original version, I always say, man, because when I play Alba King, I always say, man, I, man Alba King is is the man I can never play that like album so you know um, I can only be Jerika's and, and and always go in, in my shows I always reach back in the traditions and I, I, I get a song from uh, uh, somebody that I looked up to growing up um, uh, you know a blues guy that I liked or something like that just to always pay homage to these guys that paved the road for us young guys and, and, and us fans of this uh, genre to, you know, be able to enjoy it. So uh, that's my way of giving back. But, uh, you know, I, I like my own material. I feel like I have a lot of material. So, uh, you manipulate when you can. I'm wise for my age. Would you say I now, you grew up in the church playing bass and guitar and, and getting lessons from family members, including your uncle. Um, the blues and gospel have been at opposite ends of the spectrum for about a hundred years. <laughs> uh, did you ever get any slack for playing the blues? <laughs> and uh, of course they did. Uh, well, you know, um, you know, uh, my grandfather preached against secular music, and you know, uh, but you know, you know, I think he just taught, and uh, he did the best he could with what he knew. And, you know, growing up in church and uh, participating and, and, and my Uncle Tony teaching me how to play uh, the bass at nine years old, uh, I didn't know all of that time uh, when I was doing it. I didn't know that my talent was being developed. And, and, uh, you know, I was honing my skills there. But I never knew I would be a musician professionally uh, because I always played basketball and uh, and really was determined in that area. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm so thankful for the situation. And, you know, of course, I got some slack about it. But, you know, if, when you're a grown man or you're a grown person, you just, you, you make your mind up to, to um, fulfill your purpose. Um, and whatever your purpose is, you just have to go after it 100% and let everything else fall, fall where it may be. You wish you could feel my damn shoes. Blues America. 50, 50, 50 shades, 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 shades of blue. blue. It's Blues America, baby. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> The furthest thing away from love I gave my heart without a struggle Then you started blowing Well, we've been talking about the gospel in your, in your debut album for Alligator Records. I've got the song Hell going on in the background. What can you tell me about it? Uh, well, you know, Hell is just what it is. You know, just a quick feeling about I feel like somebody's treated you. It's, it's, I felt like, you know, I had been done so bad which you know I feel like a lot of people will feel you know once you get your heart broken you know it's just <laughs> kind of funny but 
it's just sometimes you feel like somebody that takes you through something, you you ought to get an automatic bid in the head just for that particular uh, <laughs> Uh, that particular um, experience, but it was just a, I think, a comical way just to uh, express that particular feeling of hurt. Drikus, I feel like I hear a lot of church in your music, um, including uh, the use of the organ, and of course, uh, you play guitar and bass, but I hear a lot of B3 in your music. Yeah. I love it, but you must also. Yeah, man, man, man I love the organ. The B3 is, is one of my favorite instruments. My mom played organ. Growing up, my uncle was a really good organ player. Uh, my cousins, they play organ. It, you know, just it's something about that B3 that uh, I'm really in love with. And um, yeah, and, and as far as church, I think they're with me everywhere I go. I'm not a really like a religious freak or anything like that, but I was raised uh, the right way. And uh, and I appreciate uh, my parents and grandparents for laying that foundation and uh, give me something solid to hold on to right here. Alligator recording artist Jerikas Singleton, my special guest today on Blues America. Jerikas, let's talk about growing up in a musical family. I'd like to know if any of your family members recorded. Um, recorded music? No. Uh, not that I know of. You know, we when we growing up, we used to, uh, you know, me and my mom would just take cover tunes and kind of rearrange them, and we'd put different music to them. And uh, uh, we used to sing those songs in the choir at church, but. Uh, as far as just recording, recording like that, um, no, not that I know of, man. I, you know, everything is just moving so fast, I guess. And then, you know, and then, you know, just so, uh, I guess, difficult kind of growing up for my mom uh, because, you know, she was just, you know, when a grandfather taught against everything, they didn't own the TV, you know, stuff like that. So it's kind of like, I don't think she, you know, they really had the inspiration to do that without, you know, having a big bird feeling like it was too far fetched or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, like I said, it was so much fun growing up. But uh, it was just, uh, we always rearranged cover tunes and stuff like this. You know? Cat Bone and a Mojo too. It's Blues America. My life ain't going good. Let's find out who I can blame. I think I'm so cool, but other folks think I'm lame. I've soaked all my friends And all my loved ones are getting drained Now I got me a job Jerikas, we're headed to the break And I'd like to squeeze in one last question What is your definition of the blues? Uh, well, you know, I kind of You know, um You know, I just feel like it's a, it's a feeling you know, and it's about, um, you know, peaks and valleys, you know, and that's what it's about. And everything is, everything comes from the blues, and that's why on Mississippi Tag Place we have embroidered uh, the birthplace of America's music. 
and uh, because everything started from there. And uh, I'm so thankful for it because it's, I mean, it's just a, a raw way to express yourself, you know. It's